Hi, everyone. So the, my presentation is going to be about uh, demonstrating Zoho Reports integration uh, uh, with CRM. It's about it. And then finally, I will uh, just uh, have a roadmap of things to come. So if you had been in my session, so I showed some screenshots of how to set up in CRM. So let's take it that, OK, we have set it up. We have set up uh, the advanced analytics. And data from CRM is flowing into Zoho Reports. And this is what you get. So this, um, uh, I showed you the snapshot of uh, the tables. So these are all the different modules. As I said, so the invoice, uh, uh, the, the price books, the products, all the inventory related. Uh, and then we have all the dashboards that we have. Uh, again, part of the 120 plus uh, reports that we have. So I'm going to take the potentials table and try to create uh, some uh, reports on top of this, and show you how it's done. So click on the new icon here, then the new chart view. So to the left, you see all the columns uh, related to the potentials table. Not only that, if you actually see all the other tables are also listed, because these are all joined to potentials internally by uh, lookup columns. So it's, you can drag and drop any of the columns to the right. This is, which is, this is the designer area for the chart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop the closing date and uh, the amount to the y-axis. So let then say click here to generate graph. What it does is it, it, it plots a line graph of how the, what the potential amount has been for, the, for all through the months the data has is there. So now let me change that from month to quarter. So let's see what, what happens. So the, the x-axis changes. And then now I'm going to filter out for the last three quarters alone. So I'm putting the closing date. Instead of actual, I'm going to relative. Choose the quarter, the last three quarters. And this is how the last three quarters have been. Uh, I can even change the chart type. So let me have it as the bar chart. And actually, Zoho Reports offers a lot of other chart types as well. So I'm going back to the graph. So what I need now is what I'm going to do is actually classify the dif uh, different potentials, whether they are one potentials, the loss potentials, or open potentials. So I'm going to dra drag and drop the forecast type to the color shelf. And this is how the chart changes. So you can see for the various, uh, the, for the last three quarters, uh, how the potentials are based on the forecast type. And then there are settings as well. So where you can say the legend position can be changed. Now I'm changing the legend portion to the bottom. And uh, you can even change the axis labels. Of course, you can change the color as well. Change. So you can, so uh, whatever colors you like. So that's how it's, uh, so th this is a simple uh, chart that compares for the last three quarters, the different uh, potentials, the one potentials, the lost potentials, and the open potentials. And now I'm going to save this chart. So the chart is now made. I can even drill down. So for example, I'm in, in, in the Q1, the open, uh, this thing. So when I drill down, it goes to, to the months, actually. So from the quarter, in the quarter, the, the last three months. And then I can further drill down to weeks. And then I can further drill down to days. And then I can go back month-wise, then quarter-wise. So these are things that can be, so 
that can assist you with uh, your sales and marketing metrics or how they have been, you can track them. And uh, let's now move on to the pivot view. Similar to the charts, we can uh, create uh, pivots. Here, again, I'm going to drop, uh, I, we, let's see how the wind uh, what what is the what are the what what are the uh, one potentials? What is the revenue that has been over the past three quarters? I'm dropping the one amount from the left to the data, and that gives me the one amount for the quarters. So what if I want to pivot it by? the potential owner, the, the, the salesperson. I can do that as well. I'm going to drop them in the columns. So it can be the other way around too. So, and now again, I'm going to apply the filters for the closing date because we need only for the last three quarters Going to the quarter, choosing the last three quarters. I'll choose quarter. I can even, uh, th this is nothing but the row summary. So if you don't want the row summary, I can right click, hide the row grand total so that I can have only for the quarters alone. And now, uh, one more thing I can do is see how the one amount has increased or decreased. So what I will do, I will again pull the one amount. You can see that we offer various uh, summary functions. I'm going to say percentage of difference from, and depending on quarter and year, and say click apply. What it does is, it, for Augustine Paul, who has done, uh, say, 1.97 uh, million in Q4, compared to 1.6, that's a 13.4% per, per drop. So like that, you can pivot. The first one is empty and uh, because that's the first quarter and I can change the, I'm going to change the name. So it changes for all the other uh, columns as well. And uh, I'm going to have the column grand total removed as well. So this is how the, our final pivot looks like. And I'm going to save it as one amount for a rate for the last three quarters. and save them to the same Zoalix folder. So now we have, like, can go across to Zoalix. Now we have this uh, chart and then this pivot. We can now make a dashboard combining these two. So I clicked on new and the, and the new dashboard. Now to the designer area, I am pulling the chart And then I'm now pulling the pivot table. So the chart can be actually contracted or expanded the way you like. And you can also have user filters. So for example, I can pull in the potential owner as a user filter at the top. So let me save this dashboard. And when I click on Augustine Paul, the data will get reflected only for Augustine. You can see that it changes. And you can compare for any of the sales reps. So now we have chart, we have a pivot table and also now a dashboard. Many of our uh, analytics, advanced analytics customers like doing this. 
uh, what they do is they have this uh, dashboards and reports embedded into CRM as web tabs. So let me show you that. You can get the URL or permalink view of this. I'm copying this, going to the CRM, setup, customization, web tabs. Web tabs. And then I'm going to create a web tab. Say, let me call it advanced analytics. And paste the link there. Save it. So this is how you end up uh, seeing the dashboards. You can have any number of dashboards taken from uh, analytics into CRM. That's one way of uh, doing the sharing. The other way of doing it is you can uh, click on the share button here. Uh, click on share this new view to new users. And then I'm going to <coughs> share this with Charles. Yes. Uh, we offer some fine grained permissions. So what? Charles can do with the data, whether he can just read, the, see the chart alone, whether he can export the data, whether he can, whether he can view the underlying data, whether he can drill down. So let me say, uh, just export data. And then we can also specify filter criteria. So what, what can Charles see of the, uh, the dashboard that is being shared with him? Uh, in this example, let me say, uh, the potential owner Maybe uh, we, in this example, let's say Augustine Paul is reporting to Charles, and he wants to see Augustine's performance alone. So I'm saying a potential owner is Augustine Paul. And uh, he can actually send an invitation mail to Charles, or not. And then click Share. So the view will be shared with Charles. Now let me go and log in as Charles. The shared databases tab. He can actually, Charles can access from Zoho CRM as well. So I'm doing it here from uh, Zoho reports. You can see that only Augustine Paul's uh, information is there. So that's how uh, the sharing is done in reports. So coming back to the, Zillum, uh, the, the, the demo account that I was using before, you can even publish, this is the URL, you can have it embedded in, an, in your intranet, or you can even have it in your website or blog. It will, be, it will give you an iframe, change the, and, uh, change the dimensions, and then you can uh, do that. And also you can email a report or a dashboard you can email them as HTML, or you can email as PDF. So you can even schedule the report to be sent again and then again. So uh, at, at regular intervals, say first of every month, you want a set of reports to be sent. Even that can be done. So these are uh, uh, things that you can do with uh, Zoho reports. So that actually concludes my demo. So going forward, so in the roadmap, this is what we are going to have. We are going to bring in the campaigns module in CRM into the advanced analytics, uh, followed by the Google AdWords uh, integration that we already have in CRM. So that data is also going uh, to come into Zoho reports for analysis. Uh, third one is the multi-connector one, uh, which is nothing but uh, uh, having data from uh, multiple sources come into uh, CRM and for analysis. In the, in the previous session, uh, there was a question about how to combine data from, say, Zoho support or Zoho books uh, into CRM in the case of CRM plus. So this is what it will allow. Actually, uh, instead of CRM, if it's going to be CRM plus, data from all these uh, Zoho services are, are going to come in, and you can uh, build reports on top of, uh, and you can correlate things. So how compared with, uh, say, CRM to support to books, you can uh, do them across. And finally, we'll have uh, snapshotting as well, uh, which will uh, Actually, uh, each, each uh, lead or contact, whenever it changes stages, all the data is captured. 
and uh, you can uh, report on top of that data. That's what uh, snapshotting will be. Uh, one more thing is, uh, okay, so the, before the multi-connector one, uh, what we currently have now, I just wanted to show one more. Uh, for example, let's say that this salesperson target in this example, it's, it's a different table which we have for each of the salespersons, we have a monthly target and a yearly target. Uh, let's say this information is coming from, a, say, a different spreadsheet, uh, and this can change. So every month or every yearly target can change uh, over, the, over the year. So this data, let's, uh, we are going to compare uh, with the CRM data, the, the actual uh, uh, the sales done by the salespersons. So currently what we do is we construct a query table. This, uh, if you go to edit design, you can see the this is the query which actually joins the salesperson target table with the CRM potentials table. And uh, on top of this table, we have created reports comparing the sales target with the actuals. So you can see how uh, the actual sales versus the target sales for the various uh, salespersons. So th this is how it is done now. So this is what we call data blending. So this is how we do for, for multiple sources. So instead of uh, the sales target that we have, the data can, can be from, say, Google Analytics or Google AdWords, or it can be from a campaign that you are running, um, or it can, the, it can be the other way around. So it can be a store sales data or a point of sale data. So you can merge all those data into your CRM data and get uh, uh, correlated outputs. So that brings me to the end of my presentation.